Hey guys, today I'm going to show you my catfish rigging and my uh, lures and baits and tackle box thing. So this is what I use when I go catfishing. I've got my pole. Let's get that weight there. Leading off of it is this hook. So there's one hook farther down. There's a second hook farther down. There's a third. And then going down there is the last fourth. So there's three, there's four hooks, and so I put a night crawler on each one of them, well, like a quarter of a night crawler, and usually between uh, five and ten minutes, I'll get one on, and you know, goes there, and this is for catfish, and I wouldn't recommend using this unless, like, you know where you're fishing, because it'll get stuck a lot of places, in my pond there's not a lot of things to get stuck on, so it's really good. Alright, so moving on to my, uh, my tackle box. Something weird about me is I don't like tackle boxes. I'd rather have this bag. And I got this bag for $10 at Walmart. So you see on the front here, I've got my new nose pliers and my little pliers. In, a, in this pocket, I have a cloth for holding down catfish and then taking them out. In this pocket, I have uh, a black trash bag for uh, various purposes. So let's get right into it. Alright, so the first little thing here. Uh, this is mostly things I don't use very much. Alright, let's see. So, as you can see, I have a lot of these moss bosses. Top water spoons. Uh, I think I have... One, two, three, four, five of them. My favorite one is this, just because of the color. I think it looks cool. Uh, I don't use those a lot. I mean, I'll use them, but not a lot. Uh, and here I have my mouse. Uh, weedless. And a hollow. So that's cool. Um, I've got all of these little uh, things you use for trout. Uh, most of these things are my great-grandpa's, which he uh, he lives in Oregon. So he would uh, trout fish a lot, trout and salmon. So he would use those. Uh, I've never gone trout fishing, so I don't use them. Uh, this here, this is for walleye. That's for walleye. I just found that today. I found, yeah, I found it. <laughs> I'm serious I did. Uh, uh, I don't know what these are. I seriously don't. They're a mess. That's what they are. Uh, and then there's the little salamanders. Salamander thingies. So, again, this is the ones I don't use very much. Alright. Moving on. This is the one I use most often. See, there's a big hole there. The only thing, guys, that I don't have a lot of, or I don't have any of, is spinner baits. And that's really surprising because these usually spinner baits are really common, but I don't have any. Uh, so up here, I guess, I don't know if this is a, uh, if this is a crankbait or not. Tell me if this is a crankbait. I don't know. I, I can't tell if this is crankbait or not. It rattles. It doesn't look like a crankbait. It's really old too. Uh, yeah. So moving on. And uh, this is a crankbait. This is a little crankbait here. Now this is a shallow one. This one goes really shallow. So yeah. Uh, and then I have these minnows here. I really like these minnows. Uh, I had three of those little sunfish, but I traded one with my friend for this, and I caught a bass on it the first day. Uh, so I really like these. You can get three of these little guys at Walmart for five bucks, which I think is a great deal. Uh, and then I have more minnows here. Uh, got more of these minnows. Uh, I'm not sure what this is, like what type of bait. I don't know if this is a crankbait or just normal minnow bait. Uh, that's just normal minnow bait. 
I got this hooked. Dang it. Uh, I got my frog there. Nothing special. Some jigs. Jigs there. Rooster tails. Crawdads. More crawdads and more jigs. I really like this. Because it just... When you take it, you just take it and it goes like... Good. Yeah. Uh... More jigs. I don't like jigs, but I have them and I'll use them when needed. And, uh, that's it. This spot is for spinner baits when I get around to it. When I get around to getting spinner baits. I'm just not. I don't use spinner baits. I don't like them. I'd rather use crank baits. And my last one. My last one is very exciting. It's just hooks and bobbers. And a little bit of salt water. So you see here, these are my biggest hooks that I have. And each of them has this little metal leader. Here's a second. Each of them has this little. Each of them is a hook and it has a little metal leader. So yeah. So I have three sizes of those large, medium, small. Uh, and then these hooks are kind of cool. I just think they're, think they're cool. These. I have a lot of those. And weights there, I need to get more weights. I have three, uh, ocean leaders. Uh, because I used to live by the ocean. And then I have... It's not focusing. Uh, swivels there, a bobby pin there. Okay. Uh, I've got three bobbers. This little trolling lure, little trolling thing that I wrapped up in its thing. That's obviously for salt water too. And then there, that spot is for pyramid weights. Oh, sorry. Let me get around to it. So this is a nice bag. I think it's a nice bag. Ten bucks. I think it was a good deal. And uh, let me show you my pole actually. Let me show you my pole. So this is my pole. It's a. Uh, I put it down. It's a Daiwa 4000B. It's custom. I think that's what this pole says. Uh, I got it in Virginia. The best pro shop. Uh, it's seven foot pole. Seven feet. Seven feet. Uh, it it is a salt water pole, so that's what I'll be taking when I go to the beach. A couple weeks. Twenty pound test. Uh, that's this is primarily what I use for catfish because it's heavier duty. So, yep.